I honestly don't have a skipjack big enough to break out my 11 aught hooks. I mean, these things are just pathetic, you know. It's all I could come up with. I'm starting out with the smallest skipjack first. I tend to expect a, a small fish bite early on, and who knows, it could go on all night. But if I am gonna waste bait on small fish, I'd like to get rid of these smallest skipjacks first. Hoping to save the little bit bigger ones, which ain't very big at all, for the more prime time hour later on. I'm not a spinning reel guy at all, and I'm just going to tell you that I launched that avid way farther than I launched that spinning reel. But big fish ain't always far out, so. So far I haven't got any small bites on the first two. A lot of times them channel cats and small blues will start hitting you as soon as it hits the bottom. I hate nights like that. My favorite time to fish here is when you're literally getting no bites at all and you're sitting here for a couple hours with nothing. That's when I like it. Seems like that's the nights I catch bigger fish. I have caught bigger fish on the nights with the smaller fish, but half the time you're fishing without bait when it's like that and it's very frustrating. I'd rather just cast it out there and let it sit with no small fish around until a big fish can find it. The name of this video there's three rods in a bush. Guys kept mentioning the bush in the background that I've been fishing by a lot. Guys saying they're gonna Google my spot. I'm a seasonal fisherman, man. When I get in certain times of the year, you may see six videos a row at the same spot. And uh, that's because I've learned that's a good spot to be that time of year. And if I'm getting good fish, I'm gonna keep going back. Who wouldn't, you know? I'm in a good spot. The bait's smaller than what I want it to be. Whether I like it or not, it's all I got. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Three rods in a bush. Normally I fish two rods. This is a week night, so I ain't fishing late. I need more options, more chances out there to increase my odds from not fishing as long as I normally would on a weekend. It's fall, so I could have a ball. Never know this time of year when a big fish is near. I'm really liking the snow small bites going on. That kind of excites me. So far, everything's looking good. Ain't nothing worse than wasting very hard to catch skipjack on small fish just chewing the bait off the hooks all night. I spoke too soon. Hopefully I don't get much more of that because tonight there ain't no full moon. It's been a pretty tough October. First weekend of it when it finally got some cool was a full moon. Second weekend come around, I was sick with the flu. Now we're coming up into the third weekend and it's supposed to rain half the weekend. Been having a string of bad luck, not to mention a bad time with the bait this year. I'll tell you what, I got another bucket style rod holder and I've got a rod with an 11 knot hook. Now I don't have a skipjack big enough for that 11 knot hook, but I do have a white bass in there. Now I ain't never done a bit of good on white bass, but if I stuck another bucket out and put that white bass, which I don't do no good on anyway, over to the right, which is a spot I hardly never get a bite, either way I'll still have more bait coverage. The only problem is, 
I'll have to change the name of the video to Four Rods in a Bush. But I'm really thinking about it just to cover that spot to the right. You never know, I might get a bite. Now I've got a big enough bait for this 11 knot hook. There she is. Never know till you throw. Got a piece of white bass and here we go. We've officially got four rods in a bush. That bush is my friend. That bush has seen me land many a good fish. Sometimes it's just me out here in that bush. Small fish bite number two on the spinning rod. They don't seem to be real active. They seem to kind of be hitting it a couple of times and leaving it alone. So that ain't too bad. That means there should at least still be some bone. The one good thing about that white bass is the little fish should leave it alone. Quite frankly, I've never got a bite on the stuff. So it will sit out there long enough in case a fish big enough is really, really hungry. And he'd have to be really hungry to eat that old white bass. But either way, I know I'll have one bait out there before it's all over with. This is fall, people. This is serious business now. You just never know this time of year. Now the small fish have moved in. Just took them a while to wake up, I guess. I finally sore lipped that old fish. It'll leave me alone now. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! That's how they pose with them fish in all these modern day pics and videos. Yeah. Monster right there. Good enough. That fish is straight at the top of the water. Coming straight into it.
Ain't no 40, but it's a nice one. It's definitely a 30s fish, I'd say. Four rods in a bush. That Abbott reel has caught most of my biggest fish this fall. I don't know why, it's just a lucky reel. Oh. But he's a nice fish. It's been a quiet night out here. I'm happy to get him. It's what happens when you set out four rods next to a bush. Woo! I've still got some bait on this, but definitely been chewed up pretty good. The small fish chewed most of the body off, left nothing but that little head. That 30 pound blue come along and found that little head. It is what it is, I'll take it. I was still in the zone and still had some bone. All right, people, four rods in a bush. It was a lot of talk, a lot of jibber jabber, but I caught a decent fish, so it really doesn't matter. No giants yet this year. You know, it's been a bit of a bad break between flu, rain, full moons, and lack of good bait. Either way, you notice a much larger size of fish than what I was getting back in the summer. And I'm still having a good time. It still gives me peace of mind. It's cooler at night. There's hardly anyone around and no mosquitoes. I love this time of year. I get excited every time it comes near. My favorite time of year is when fall gets here. This is a video. There was a fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.